Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at 10 amazing pocket carry handguns. Now I realize there are many guns that would suit a pocket carry style of CCW. However, I've got 10 here that I think are pretty great choices. Now when I pocket carry, I typically use a nylon holster like this. It does have additional texturing here to cover the trigger guard. This is for small micro sized guns and over here is a little bit larger for subcompact guns. It's just worked just as well. It's called Bulldog there for those who want to know. I just picked these up at the gun store. They also make leather holsters and all different kinds. You know, you have to decide what's best for you. But I want to showcase some of these guns because I think these are great and I'm sure there'll be many added in the comment section of what you feel make amazing pocket carry guns. So let's get to it. Let's start with small caliber semi-auto handguns. We'll begin right here with the Seacamp LWS 32. Extremely small, all metal frame, snag free, doesn't even have sights to it. And six rounds of 32 ACP. With seven rounds, it's 13 and 1 8 ounces loaded. Get a load of this. Double action trigger, which is a hammer fired gun and a heavy double action. All these have heavy double action because they are meant for pocket carry. Over here we've got a Remington RM380. This is a roar ball design. If you remember the roar ball 9, many people loved it. They said it's so small and lightweight with an aluminum frame. It holds six rounds in the mag. This is the flat base plate. Over here is the executive model. It has some enhancements to it. Makes it very nice. Ambidextrous mag release, by the way. Aluminum frame. A three inch barrel and its loaded weight is just 16 ounces with seven rounds now i've run a whole bunch of ammo through this gun and it feeds fire and ejects everything probably a 10 pound trigger pull there but once again made for pocket carry and many people love that gun and in the pocket holster here i've got a car cw380 now this has a two and a uh, 2.58 inch barrel also six round magazine this one's loaded but it's carrying seven rounds because i have mag guts in there none in the chamber another double action only handgun that that people love it's a, it's a car it's very well built and its loaded weight is only 14 and a half ounces loaded with seven rounds well you know darn well a lot of people pocket carry revolvers and this would make a fine snub nose revolver to pocket carry it's a new taurus 856 it does have a cylinder that holds six rounds opposed to five rounds of 38 special plus p two inch barrel beautiful burned orange although it looks red rubber grip nice single action trigger pull that i measure right around six pounds the overall weight on this loaded with six rounds is 18 and a half ounces in it pocket carries very well with this aluminum frame snub nose revolver but over here we've got a close range shooter it's a double barrel 22 magnum eight shots of 22 magnum called the thunderstruck s333 made by standard manufacturing it has a double trigger with a trigger bar safety in there and each trigger pull it fires two shots of 22 magnum made for close range no doubt about that, but I think everybody would agree that being hit with two shots at one time of 22 Magnum or any round that I can think of would be pretty vicious. And that's what this S333 Thunderstruck delivers. Two of the smallest and lightest 9mm handguns in today's market are right here. Here we have a Diamondback DB9. Gen 4, new for 2019, extremely thin and lightweight carries six rounds in the magazine and it is plus p rated the loaded weight with seven rounds is 16 and a half ounces excellent pocket carry choice and many people are, are coming back to diamondback because of this gen 4 model it, it offers some features that the other generations don't my favorite pocket carry gun is right here a car pm9 does have night sights on there. It has a three inch barrel. Also carries six rounds in the magazine. Double action trigger pull breaks right between six and a half and seven pounds. Extremely well constructed. I shoot it so well. I enjoy pocket carrying this. Although I know many people use the car PM9 and the car CM9 as a primary carry. 
Here are two extremely deep concealed firearms. This is the Life Card 22 made by Trailblazer Firearms. It's the size and width of a credit card, obviously a bit thicker, but extremely small. Now it does have two levers here. This first lever releases the grip from the upper. This lever releases the barrel. You can see that it is unloaded. But with a 22 long rifle on there, all you have to do is pull back the striker and then you have a single action, single shot firearm called the Life Card 22. They also make it in 22 Magnum now, and a lot of people are liking that. Over here, we have a North American Arms Pug that is chambered in 22 Magnum. It's a single action revolver, five shot revolver. Pull the hammer back and pull the trigger, and you're good to go. Easily maintained by pulling this piece out a little tight right now, and then out comes the cylinder for easy cleaning and removal of the cases very lightweight very easily concealed the last two handguns i'm going to feature is a narrow arms n1 and a springfield armory hellcat now i am well aware that many other guns from other makers fit these categories i am simply featuring what i have now the narrow arms n1 is very thin very lightweight carries seven rounds in the magazine and it's a true double action firearm so amongst the pull it has to reset all the way and it is a hammer fired gun with eight rounds it's weighing in at 19 and 1 8 ounce so that would make a nice pocket carry gun I, I like that gun there's something about that gun i really like but here's a springfield hellcat all right now i know some of you guys are yelling p365 i get it but i'm featuring this it carries 11 rounds in the magazine one of the chamber that is not inserted right now but it's loaded weight with 12 rounds is 23 and a half ounces that's pretty amazing with a flat face trigger uh, tritium front dot u notch rear front serrations it just has so much going for it that it makes an excellent pocket carry and a primary gun for 12 rounds in the mag i think that's pretty good so those are my choices for 10 amazing pocket carry handguns i actually featured 11 or 12 but who's counting I i'm gonna call it 10 great pocket carry handguns i want to know what you think would be best which of these you like or which one that you pocket carry if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe